In this video, I'll teach you how to play Rue des Trois Frères by Fabrizio Paterlini. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This video was requested and sponsored by one of my viewers who really wanted to learn this piece and didn't want to wait until I could get around to it. So if you'd like to sponsor your own video, you can write to me at my email address on the screen. This is a piano piece written by the Italian pianist and composer named Fabrizio Paterlini. It's off of his 2010 album called Fragments Found. I don't have the sheet music, I just kind of listened to it and figured out how it goes. So if you're looking for sheet music, I'm not really sure where to find it. Maybe you can write to the composer since he's still living. Rue des Trois Frères, or the Street of Three Brothers, is an actual street in Paris in the Montmartre district, which is traditionally the, like the artist district. It's a very romanticized place. And uh, some of the films that were set in this area are Amélie, An American in Paris, and Moulin Rouge. And this piece really kind of captures that I don't know, that artistic kind of bittersweet feeling that I think of when I think of struggling artists. Um, so it's a pretty easy piece to learn because the left hand is super repetitive. It plays almost the same thing all the way through. And the right hand does repeat quite a bit as well. So basically it's uh, a repetition of four measures over and over uh, in the left hand. And then the right hand plays its thing on top of it um, like a beautiful melody. In this video, I go through the left hand by itself, the right hand by itself, I put the hands together, I tell you where I pedal, and you can find the time codes for all of the sections in the description box of this video. In the description box you will also find links to my website, thepianokeys.com, where you can find all of my courses and sheet music and things like that to help you level up in your piano playing. In the description box, you will also find a link to a free book on chords that I created for you. You can go and find that at that link. So everything is linked below. Um, you just have to open up the drop down menu and find it. You can find me on Instagram, the Piano Keys TPK. I have a private Facebook group, which is free. It's called Piano Practice Tips with the Piano Keys. You do have to answer the questions and agree to the group rules. If you like my videos, make sure you click the thumbs up because YouTube really likes that sort of thing and I like it too. I like to know that uh, you're responding well to the work I'm putting into this channel. Go ahead and subscribe. And before you request something, please do a search on my channel. I probably already have it or something like it. So you can save us both a bit of time by just going ahead and searching on my channel. So first I'll play for you the entire piece and then we'll go into the tutorial. So if you're ready to learn Rue des Trois Frères, then keep watching.
this is a piece that is both easy and difficult at the same time. And what makes it easy is that there are a lot of repetitions, both in the left hand and the right hand. And what makes it a little more on the difficult side is because there are so few notes, we call that like transparent. You know, there's not a bunch of like runes and chords and stuff happening. So because there is little happening, um, it makes it more exposed. So when you play wrong notes or you don't play uh, the notes well, it's really apparent. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So um, the left hand repeats almost in the entire piece it repeats the same thing over and over except at the very end so um let's learn that left hand i'm just going to teach it to you in this section and then it's going to be repeating in all the other sections so we start with and again these fingerings are just you know fingerings that work for me and they work right now you don't have to use these fingerings if they don't work for you but try them and if you don't like them you know, try something else, okay? So there's no right fingering, it's just whatever works for you. So fourth finger starts on F, and then second finger on A flat, first finger on C, both together. I need to play it twice. F, A flat C, A flat C. Then you take your sec uh, fourth finger, move it down to E flat, and then the second and first fingers play the same thing again. In fact, that's all they're going to be playing, just A flat and C, <laughs> okay? Then fifth finger to low C, C below, C below middle C, and then our two notes on top again, and then D flat fifth finger, and then our two notes on top. So you see that the second and first finger are only playing A flat and C the whole time. And you just play that over and over and over. All right, so let's try it out together. I'm, I'm going to count one, two, three, nice and slow. So I'll, I'll count three to get us started. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now E flat. One, two, three. Now C. One, two, three. And D flat. One, two, three. Play it again. One, two, three. E flat. One, two, three. 3C, 2, 3, D flat. Let's practice it one more time. F, 2, 3, E flat, 2, 3, C, 2, 3, and D flat. All right, you get the idea? All right, so practice that because that left hand has to keep going no matter what the right hand is doing, <laughs> okay? And you can play it slowly, you know, you don't have to play fast, you could do that speed. What was that? Okay, something fell. Uh, in case you hear uh, rain noises, it's because it's a very rainy day, and which is perfect for this kind of music. Um, so it's kind of a sad, dark kind of piece and perfect for the rain. All right, practice that, and then I'll teach you the right hand. So right hand is going to have lots of repetitions, not as repetitive as the left hand, obviously, because it's playing the melody. So we start third finger on A flat, fourth finger on B flat, and then fifth on C. So these two notes that start have to be pretty fast, like that. Think about just kind of running toward that fifth finger, okay? Like that. And then A flat, third finger, second finger on G, Back to your A flat, first finger on E flat, and then second finger on F. Sometimes people don't like to use their first finger on black keys. Uh, sometimes you've been told that that's not okay, it's perfectly fine. If this doesn't work for you, again, find another fingering that does. So let's try that again. Starting on A flat, the first two notes are gonna be kind of fast. Here we go A flat, B flat, C. Back to your A flat, then G, A flat, E flat, then F. Now, we repeat it almost exactly, but we're gonna leave out that last F. So, A flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, A flat, and then E. Okay, so same thing twice except the second time you leave out the last note so let's play it from the beginning let's do that ready go 
A flat. Back to your A flat. E flat. And then F. Play that whole thing again. A flat, B flat, C. A flat, G. A flat, and then E. Stay there. Don't do the F this time. Now, the third time is like the first time, but we add a note. So we start on A flat again. A flat, B flat, C. A flat. Now, here's where we add the note. You play that A flat again, and you go right into the G. It's a grace note, like that. So you play the A flat, kind of light. We don't want, right? We want, okay? And then from there, it's the same as the first time. A flat, E flat, F. And then the last time is uh, the same as <laughs> the second time. So A flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, A flat, E flat, and you stay there. So basically the same idea happens four times. The first time and the second time are the same, except the second time leaves out, leaves out the last note. The first time and the third time are the same, except the third time adds the grace note. <laughs> and then the second time and the fourth time are the same. If you uh, need to write that down, it's a good idea. So let's play it from the beginning of this uh, section. Here we go, A flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, A flat, E flat, F. So that was the first time. Now the second time, we're gonna play the same, leave out the F, here we go. A flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, A flat, E flat. Now this is gonna be like the first time, but we're gonna add the grace note, here we go. A flat, B flat, C, A flat, play that A flat, and then go to the G. That's our grace note. A flat, E flat, F, and then this is gonna be like the second time. A flat, B flat, C, a flat, G, A flat, E flat. All right, practice that, and then when you're ready, we're gonna put the hands together. Left hand plays that round of four chords um, two times through, and then the right hand comes in on the third time. So, here we go. was one. Now we're going to do it again. Okay, that was two. Now, the right hands are going to start after this. Now together, left. Right, together, left. Right, together, together okay let's do that much again so we're going to start um, just the right hand by itself starting here we go a flat b flat together now left hand right together left right together left together Okay, I would say practice that much first. Make sure you got the coordination happening because you're gonna use that same coordination for the rest of this section. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you've practiced it, you've got it. We're gonna start on the very end of what the left hand plays before the right hand comes in. So on the D flat, here we go. D flat, A flat, C, ready? Here we go, right hand, together. Two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Now remember, it's almost the same. Here we go, right hand, together, left, right, together, left, Right together, 
Now, right hand doesn't play that F, it lifts. Okay? Now, right hand comes in again. Together, left. Right. Now, the grace note happens first, and then together. Left, right, together. Then together, left. Now, this is like the second one, right? Together, left. Right, together, left. Right, together. And then hold that right hand, left hand plays. Okay? So I'm going to play it for you from the beginning, nice and slow. And I'll add the pedal this time. The pedal uh, is really easy. Basically, you just change the pedal every time you play that low note in the left hand. So it would be here. I mean, you're going to put it down here because there's nothing happening to change. So you put it down. And then here is where you change. Okay, if you need help with pedal, I have a tutorial. Change. Change. The tutorial is linked here and in the description box. Please don't ask me where it is. Okay, it's linked. Look for it. Or you can, you know, do a search on my channel. <laughs> you know, tutorial for pedaling. Okay, well, then you change here. Change. Change. Okay, now the right hand's gonna start. Here we go. Change. Change. You get the idea. So the grace note, when you're playing the grace note, you have to make sure that you lift this A flat really fast so you can come back down quickly. Like that, okay? So there's a giant uh, Amazon Prime delivery truck out there making a lot of noise. So as you're playing, going into the grace note, jump up and land okay if i did that slow motion it would look like this watch okay it's it's one motion up and one down all right if you need help with your technique check out my technique courses all right so that's the first section Now the left hand's gonna just do the same thing over and over, so we're not gonna talk about it. The right hand is playing a bunch of octaves. Now, if you play these octaves with a tight wrist, you're gonna find very quickly that your muscles uh, seize up and they refuse to move anymore, or that you're having a lot of pain here. Both of those are telling you that you need to work on your technique. I'm gonna link my... Um, video here that goes through uh, one of the exercises in my technique course just so you can like have you know a, an experience with it so uh, the number one thing keeping people from playing the way they, the way that they want to play is they haven't built up their technique okay so we're gonna play a flat a flat one and five and then C in the middle with second finger if for some reason you know you can't reach this well or you're just not there with your technique and it really hurts for all of the octaves, you can leave out the bottom note and just play the top note. Okay, so whatever I'm going to show you with the octaves, leave out the bottom note and just play the top note if you want to. So I'm going to teach it to you the way that it's written. 
all right and then you'll figure out what to do according to your level all right so a flat a flat then C we do that six times three four lots of relaxation in the wrist five six now the octave moves down to G the second finger stays on C we do that three times then the octave moves down to F and the second finger still stays on C and we do that three times Now we play that whole thing again. A flat, C, six times. Four, five, six. Now G and C three times. One, two, three. Then F and C three times. One, two, three. So we did that th whole thing twice through. On the third time, it changes. So we go up to C for the octaves, and then F in the middle, second finger. And we do this three times. One, two, three. Now, the C stay the same. The second finger is gonna move down to E flat. And we do that three times. One, two, three. Now, the octaves move to B-flat, and the E-flat stays the same. One, two, three. Then, the octaves move to A-flat, and the second finger moves to D-flat, and we do that three times. One, two, three. So let's take it from the C's, okay? C and F, ready? Here we go. C, F, three times. Two, Three. Now C and E flat. One, two, three. Now B flat and E flat. One, two, three. And then A flat and D flat. One, two, three. Notice that I'm not picking up my hands in between the groups. I'm kind of walking. from one key to the next. This is a really good way to move uh, in this area because, I mean in this part of the piece, because when you lift you have to find your place again and it takes time and you can't play as fast as if you're just, you know, just moving around. See? And just kind of rocking back and forth. After this, you play the first group again, A flat and C, six times. Four, five, six, and then G and C, three times. One, two, three. Now, the next thing that happens is the F and the C's, but instead of doing this rhythm, you're just gonna play the notes like this. We call that arpeggiated chord sometimes called a rolled chord, okay? So it's F, C, F. So let's take it from the beginning of this section, A flat and C, and we're gonna go all the way through. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now G and C. One, two, three. F and C. One, two, three, that whole thing again. A flat and C, two, three, four, five, six, G and C, one, two, three, F and C, one, two, three. Now, jump up to C and F, three times, now C and E flat, one, two, three. B flat, E flat, one, two, three. A flat, D flat, one, two, 
three back to your A flat and C like the beginning of this section six times three four five six G and C one two three now just that arpeggiated chord F C F Putting the hands together is pretty straightforward. You might take some practice, but there's nothing complicated about it. Every time you play the octave, you play a note in the left hand. <laughs> All right, so together, right. Together, right. Okay, that's just the pattern. again. Remember, if you're pedaling, it's just going to be on the low note in the left hand. You should not add the pedal until you have the hands down. Because adding pedal is one more thing for you to think about. So if you don't have the notes yet, don't even worry about the pedal. Now, go up to C and F. You see the pattern, right? get ready for the chord here the left hand changes so let me just show it to you instead of playing this you know the, our regular pattern you're just gonna play all the notes together that's it so the notes haven't changed you're just playing them all at the same time so it goes like this so the hands play together then right like that and your pedal's gonna hold it all right so I'm going to go a little faster and I'll just add the pedal and you know I'm changing every time I play the, the low note in the left hand. Left hand is still doing its thing from before, so we're gonna leave it alone. Right hand is playing basically what it played in the first section, but it's up an octave, okay? And instead of having the grace note only, um, instead of having the grace note only on the third time, we're gonna have it on the first and the third time. So, A flat, B flat, C, A flat. Now here are the grace note, okay? A flat, E flat exactly like the first section but we're just adding grace note here and then a flat b flat c a flat now here we're getting a little more fancy we're instead of going just to the g we're doing a g a flat g so g a flat g okay so we added a little bit of a fancy thing here okay then this is like going to be like the first one a flat b flat c a flat, here's a grace note, A flat, E flat, then F, and then here's that one with the fancy little thing in it, A flat, B flat, C, A flat, G, A flat, G, A flat, E. So I'll play that for you without talking and you can hear it nice and slow. Two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so putting the hands together is basically like we did in section one with just, you know, the addition of those little extra notes. So right hand goes first, together. Here's that grace note. Nothing new here. You're just playing the right hand up an octave from the first time. Right, together. Here's where it changes. Together, right, to get, uh, left, <laughs> then right. So let me do that again. So you see the right hand finishes its thing before the left hand comes in. Okay? Lift the right hand, and it's gonna be like the first one. note and then like the second one okay I'm not gonna do it with pedal because you already know the pedals gonna change <laughs> you know where okay <laughs> All right, left hand still doing the same thing. The right hand, um, we were playing here before in the previous time this happened. Now we're gonna go up an octave, all right? So A flat and C, six times. Three, four, five, six. Do you remember what's next? Did you say G and C? I think you did, you're right. <laughs> Three times. Now F and C. Okay, back to your A flats. This is all re repetition, just up an octave from what you already know. Six, now G and C, F and C. Okay, nothing new here. We just jumped that right hand up. So let's do together. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and add pedal because you already know this section. Change. So pretty. Change. Change. Relax your arms. When you have repetitive stuff like this, it's very easy to get tense if you're not thinking about it. Tension is our enemy, okay? <laughs> Okay, this is the last section, and here the left hand actually does something different, so we're gonna learn it. Um, you are here up on A flat and C, and you're gonna go all the way down to low F, fifth finger, and then come back and play your A flat and C again. Okay? Then fifth finger moves to A flat down here. Now, the top note is still gonna be C, but the underneath it is E flat. You can do one five, one four, whatever works for you. Uh, I probably like, I probably like one and four because I can aim it quickly. See that? This way rather than this way. So yeah, I, I'm probably using E flat uh, fourth finger. Okay, now fifth finger goes to C and then 
fourth finger goes to G, first finger to E flat. This one's a little tricky because you have to get between those keys and really aim for that G. Notice I'm tilting my wrist a little bit so that I can reach the E flat. Depending on the size of your hand, it might look different for you, but for sure you want to relax your wrist. And then D flat, and then fourth finger on A flat, first finger on F. So let's do that much. From your F down here, a flat, C, A flat, E flat, C, C, G, E flat, D flat, A flat, F. I would practice that if I were you before moving any further. Then you go back to what we already know, F and A flat and C, that's familiar. And then, instead of playing this again, you're going to play the chord like you did in section two. And then F, A flat, and C together. So playing this whole section from the beginning, um, starting on F, nice and slow, ready, set, go. <laughs> chord, Let's, let me do that better. Here we go, chord, and then F, A flat, and C. And you can use 4, 2, 1, you can use 5, 3, 1, whatever you want, okay? Whatever works for you. The right hand was doing, we left off on C, now we're going to do C and F, just like we did in section two, but we're up again an octave, C and F. Now C and E flat, this is very familiar, right? Because we already know it. B flat and E flat, just like section two. A flat, D flat. A flat, C, exactly what we already know. Six times, one, uh, that was four, five, and six. And now G and C, all repetition from what you've learned before, just up an octave. Now, this chord that we did before, we're gonna do it again, F, uh, F, C, F. Then you play that same chord down an octave, okay? So everything here, you already know it, you're just playing it up an octave and then you're adding a chord at the end. So this is a little more tricky because the left hand's doing something new, it's traveling, so you're probably gonna have to practice it a little bit, okay? So nice and slow, here we go. People ask me which hand should I look at. Um, I Right now I'm just looking at the left hand, whoops, here, um, because the right hand isn't jumping around but the left hand is. So here in this case, I'm really looking at the left hand. Also the music, you know. But I tend to look at the hand that's moving more probably. Which makes sense. Okay, here's that chord in the left hand and the rolled chord in the right hand. And then pick up and play, the right hand plays the same thing, left hand plays F, A flat, C. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with pedal. We were holding the pedal from before, so you're gonna change right when we play here, change. 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 Now, roll the chord, change. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and change here too. Okay, so always change after you play the new thing. And that's that. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've learned this piece. And if you want, you can post a video of yourself performing it on my um, Facebook group, Piano Practice Tips with the Piano Keys. If you have a request, go ahead and put it below. And if you'd like to go to the head of the line, then you can sponsor a video. My keyboard, my amp, my pedal, everything is linked below. And if you're looking for a keyboard to buy, the one I have is fabulous and it's really inexpensive. It's the Yamaha P125. And if you use my links to purchase any music gear, then I will get some credit in my account. And that will help me to cover the costs of making these videos for you. If you'd like to donate through PayPal, there's a link to that also below in the description box. Keep practicing, have fun, and I will see you soon.